Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 12th of November. I do apologise uh, for the lack of reviews of this week, but I haven't been very well. Uh, I started off with uh, inflamed tonsils, which was lovely, and uh, and then I've uh, contracted some food poisoning, so that's great as well. So, uh, But here I am, back in the seat, and looking at a Spectrum game by Hewson, and it's called Zynapse, and it's actually quite fun so far. Um, so we're going to have a look at all the various aspects of it, um, and I hope you enjoy it. So fasten your seat belts, let's shoot off into space, and let's have a look. So graphically, it's actually quite colourful for a Spectrum game. Lots of nice colours going on there. With very little clash, which is nice. Um, now the things that you can see, like the little globes, I think those are power-ups, and I'm going to try and figure out how to activate those. Um, using a Kempston joystick for the game and I know you guys like Spectrum games now this is a 48k version as you can probably tell from the intro music God, the, ouch um, yes so there we are <laughs> already at the title screen there, never mind so um, yeah you control this little ship and you get these little power-ups which is quite nice um, and it's well, it's fun so far even though I haven't really got very far into it but, uh, yeah, I think this is good fun. Now, I don't know if there was a 1 to 8K version released. Uh, what, do you guys know if there was a 1 to 8K version released? Let's get a conversation started here, shall we? It'd um, be nice to know if there was, because if there was, I'll try and find it. Um, if not, I'm not going to waste my time. Um, I just feel that there could be a, um, a bit more of a stronger version uh, regarding the sound. But we'll get onto that in a bit. But graphically, it's actually quite nice. Oh, I've got a bouncing grenade or something there. Graphically, yeah, it's nice. I, I actually really like this. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, UI. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bam. So we've got the weapons down in the bottom left-hand corner. You can see there's a missile selected, so we can actually get that. That will change as... Oh dear. Um, that will change as you pick up these blobs. You know, different weapons and different stuff. I'm going to guess that you have to hold down the fire button because my ship glows when I do that. So I'm just wondering if that is actually activating it or not. And different lengths of time for different um, different things. Now if you do get a decent score, I do believe you can put your name in. Talking of scores, by the way. Mine's in the top left-hand corner. I have two. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's a great game, but it's so easy to get hit, whether it's by bullets or from other ships or scenery. But it does seem to be very, very uh, sensitive when it comes to collision detection. But I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest, because I think this is going to keep you going for a while. Which brings me on to, realistically, quite early on, actually, in the review, because I don't normally do this at this point. Um, but I would say playability and replay factor are going to score high. Because you want a game that's going to bring you back, that's not going to pee you off too much just due to frustration levels. It's very clever, actually, the way that it's designed to keep you on your toes, realistically. So if, you're, if you've got bad concentration, this probably isn't going to be the game for you. Uh, but if you do enjoy a challenge... This reminds... you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Project X, which would have been quite, you know, a time before Project X, because Project X was on the Amiga, and this was on the ZX Spectrum. But I wonder if... Um, Project X actually took any inspiration from this because even even with the power-up system, it's still pretty much you know, I it just does remind me very much of Project X. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is Project X like? Because I think it yeah, it's it's got aspects, and yet it would have been the other way around. I think that Project X would have taken you know a direction from this game. So there we go. Observation. Um. I'm not doing very well at this, am I? But never mind. It's it's one of those games that I feel I could come back and have another go at. I'm not getting frustrated. It's just a case of that I'm just not. 
my reaction times aren't fantastic, but uh, you know, you guys, if you haven't played this game and you like the ZX Spectrum and you like shooters, have a go, it's great. You can see my lives are in the bottom right, by the way. Uh, controls are really quite simple, it's up, down, left, right, fire, and then if, I think if you hold down the fire button, I'm still trying to figure this out, if you hold down the fire button, I do believe that you get your uh, upgrade uh, sorted out, so you get missiles, bouncing bombs, that sort of thing. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite well thought out. And then you've got, what would I say, age range? I, to be honest, you know, we, we were playing these games back when we were, you know, six, seven. So anything around that, really. I don't remember games being this difficult, to be fair, but I'm, I mean, then again, my seven-year-old brain would have been a lot different to my 43-year-old brain, I guess. But there you go. Um... It's fun. I'm enjoying it, even though I'm not doing very well. It's a it's a it's a good game. It's a very good game, and it's by Houston, and they had some good good games as well. Um, those of you who remember Houston, they did some they did some cracking titles. Um, so the quality's there, the replay value's there, the controls are quite simple to get to grips with, and the only thing that I think is lacking is the sound. But that's it. There's you know there's not much it could have done really with a 48k setup. I think that's what I'm asking. If there's a 1 to 8K version, we could have a look at that as well. A bit like Nebulous, there was a, a more up-to-date version released, um, but it wasn't released around the same time. It was actually done more recently, which is quite nice. So if anyone knows of a 1 to 8K version of Zynaps, let me know. Um, did you ever play Zynaps when you had a ZX Spectrum, or have you still got a ZX Spectrum and you still have Zynaps? Have you got it, played it, completed it, etc.? How far did you get? Just let me know in the comments. We'll have a we'll have a bit of a natter about it, shall we, folks? It's always nice to hear you guys commenting and dropping me notes. So thanks very much to all of you that comment. You guys are ace, and uh, your support is amazing as always. Especially since the whole stroke situation. So thank you very much. Um, I can't really tell you in words how much I appreciate it. But here we are. The, uh, the channel's still going strong and I'm picking up new subscribers, which is great. So thank you for subscribing to the channel. And uh, for all the kind comments, uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart very much sincerely. So there we are. So it's a, it, I think it's a two-player game actually, this one. Because uh, there's a score up at the top right-hand corner. I just can't test that out, but I do believe that you can have two players, whether it's on screen at the same time. Now that would be an interesting... Um, thing to figure out. I, I don't... Is this a boss? Um, whether it's two players at once or turn-based, I'm, I'm not overly sure, to be quite honest with you. Ooh. Hey! Level one completed. Oh, this is cool. You can't destroy those. Okay, that's fun. Um, so, now there's a different aspect to the game. Now we can zoom through these asteroids and uh, can't destroy any of them. So it's basically dodge the asteroid in this level. Oh, and then we get some ships to, to shoot at, so that's quite cool. Nice. I like the fact that there's different elements to the game. It's not all the same thing. That's always a nice thing as well. Variety is key to enjoyment and longevity. I don't know if I said that correctly or not, but hey, never mind. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, it's only, the, it's only the sound, really, that lets it down. Otherwise, this is a cracking little game, and I think... I think it's worth you having a go at it, even if you're going to get bombarded with meteors. I oh, yeah, can put my name in. Excellent. So here we go. Um, hope you've enjoyed the review anyway, guys. This has been Zynaps on the ZX Spectrum 48K. I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show. I will be back very soon with a brand new review. You keep it retro, and I will catch you next time. And until then, bye for now. Bye.